So whatever the hell that is, it represents Governor Tate Reeves of Mississippi announcing that he's running for reelection. This is how he chose to announce it by having this deep faked version of his, I'll call it a face, put on to Clint Eastwood's character in the Dollars trilogy. It's the man with no name character. And he's going through and he's gunning down a bunch of people. It's fun. Of course, many have pointed out there's kind of a pretty big gap between the man with no name and Tate Reeves. This one tweet says kind of disingenuous when in real life this guy looks like live action Peter Griffin. See, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. The ad's not funny. It's particularly not funny when you recognize that this guy Tate Reeves, who tweeted that out and appears to have this fantasy of gunning down a bunch of people. Um, apparently not funny when you think about that four days ago in Mississippi, there was a mass shooting at an after prom party where two people were killed and four more were wounded. Um, back in February, a man armed with three guns shot his ex-wife and five others during a rampage during a small Mississippi town. In March, there was a deadly shooting in the parking lot of a Blackwell grocery store. One person died, five were wounded, multiple AR-15s were used. See, in Mississippi, there are already other people, Tate Reeves, who have fantasies of going on rampages and gunning down a lot of people. The fact that you're dressing up in fun Clint Eastwood cosplay uh, is a little bit uh, messed up when you consider the, the damage that these shooters have done just in the last couple of months. Yeah, so and of course, uh, people are pointing out everybody is shooting is a person of color. Uh, so uh, now, look, you could, he's a Republican from Mississippi, so he might mean it. Or that's a super popular movie and they use that clip, okay? So, but, uh, and I'm being maybe overly fair there, but, but, Take that information, do with it what you will. But I want to read graphic two here because uh, to me, this uh, quote bothered me more than the, the silly little ad. He said, my friends, this is a different governor's campaign than we've ever seen before in our state because we're not up against local yokel Mississippi Democrat. We're up against a national liberal machine. They are extreme, they are radical and vicious, really? Uh, they, be, they believe welfare is success. They believe that taxes are good and businesses are bad. They think boys can be girls, that babies have no life and that our state and our nation are racist. Okay, see the reason why that uh, um, bothered me is because that's how an average Republican talks. The average Democrat like Joe Biden goes, "Oh, my beloved Republican friends, I love them so much. Meanwhile, this Tate guy is like shooting Mexicans in a uh, ad. He comes out and says they don't even want babies to be alive, boys to be girls, they're calling us all racist. And they're radical and vicious, etc. right? So one side's ready to fight and ready to lie about things. Who's the last vicious Democrat you ever saw in your life? Where, please. Rahm Emanuel. Yeah, I mean, well, yes, that's true, good, good point by John. They are vicious to progressives, that I've seen plenty of times. Show me one Democrat vicious to Republicans and I'll, I'll go volunteer for his presidential campaign. Okay, so find me one, one that is vicious against Republicans. I can't find any, they're the softest people on earth. Anyway, so as he's talking about how they're, you know, Democrats are gonna kill all the babies. We have to understand that this must be countered. So how do you counter it? I, mean, I don't know who's running in, in Mississippi for the Democratic side, but if it, it's a standard Democrat, their answer to this will be, yeah, 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 but I am also kind of right wing. Oh, okay. The correct answer to this is, hey, while Governor Tate was shooting Mexicans in his latest ad, uh, he talked about how uh, we're against uh, business. In reality, we're for small businesses who his corporate buddies are destroying, and he's helping with their corruption, lower your wages, destroy our local businesses. And that is ex among the reasons why what he calls welfare is helping your kids get an education and get lunch when they are hungry. And without that, in his way, we are ranked 49th or 50th in every category. The Republicans have absolutely destroyed this state. They're the worst at managing. They're either deeply incompetent or deeply corrupt, but most likely both. That's how you fight back. There's a 0% chance that any Democrat will do that against Tate or anyone else. And that's why they keep losing elections in states that the Republicans have 
butchered. Mississippi is a disaster. All brought to you by Republicans, it's unquestionable, yet the morons on the other side cannot speak and actually tell you that. I got worked out because this son of a bitch is gonna win because there's gonna be no counter to his idiocy. Sorry, Ramesh, go ahead. No, no, not at all, I couldn't agree more. I mean, one of the highest poverty rates in the country, one of the poorest public health uh, outcomes in the country, one of the poorest education uh, levels uh, uh, of the country. This is a state that has many uh, aspects of, of life deficiency uh, because of consistent Republican leadership. And they should be called out with facts and with that same ferocity that you just shared. I think it's worth noting that this guy, while he has another absurdist stunt and just tries to go one identity category after the other to attack, 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 which is the strategy of just attacking various sorts of boogeyman antagonists to rile people up and just say, okay, I'm so scared, better just go with you, you're the tough guy. But notice at the same time, this is within a week of when this guy has deployed the state police department to infiltrate Jackson, which is which is you know Labumba, 80 percent progressive mayor, 80 percent black. Huh? So so what this guy is doing at the same time is essentially some sort of neo version of a martial law system wherever black people are. Huh? Mm-hmm. So it's really obvious what this guy is all about, and he needs to be exposed for being a, a, a horrible. <laughs> in so many ways. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.